Ready now for one of the marquee events of this NCAA Women's Championship, the women's 200-yard individual medley. And we are going to be in for a treat. There's a look at Kate Douglas, the fastest in the country this year. Seven national titles she claimed last year in three different disciplines. And now she jumps into the 200 IM, foregoing the title defense of her 53 for this event for the Virginia Cavaliers. Won the ACC, bronze medals at the Tokyo Olympics in the 200 IM. And let's check out the lane assignments. And there is Sally Foley, the junior of Duke, up in lane one. You see Colella on her cap. Every Duke Blue Devil swimmer wearing Colella on their cap for their coach who passed away back in December. Ellen Nelson from Virginia in lane two. And here's the two-time defending champ, Alex Walsh, and the NCAA record holder, Walsh in three. And there is Kate Douglas, fastest time in the country this year by almost two seconds in this event. Tori Husk, Stanford. Parents are in attendance. We had a chance to catch up with them earlier before we came on the air. Silver in this event last year. Abby Hay of Louisville in lane six. Second straight championship final for the senior from Pittsburgh. Emma Stickland from the Texas Longhorns in lane seven. Trying to pick up some Badly needed points for the Longhorns, and in lane eight, Phoebe Bacon, the fourth of the four Olympians in this final, the junior from Bethesda, Maryland. And let's go back to Tori Husk of Stanford in lane five, a great opportunity against a loaded field. Yeah, I, I was talking to our coach, Greg Meehan, earlier, and I said, what does she have to do? And he just said, she needs to just swim her race, but going against these two, perhaps, Walsh, Nelson, three Virginia Cavaliers, all three next to each other. Take Nelson, Walsh, Douglas, big, big points that Virginia will pick up. It, it's really about Tori Huska's front half. She needs to go. There, there's no doubt about it. She's got to make Walsh and Douglas push the breast. And that's the only way she's going to have a chance at an upset. She's the best butterflyer, at least here in this 200 IM. Kate Douglas is a tremendous, obviously, butterflyer, and she's going to outsplit her at the front half. 23-5-1 for Douglas. Well, the time that Douglas threw down earlier in the year was only 7 one hundreds off of Alex Walsh's NCAA record. That is going to be in the center of the bullseye here tonight. Oh, boy. Uh, it, 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 these, it, these might be the two most versatile swimmers in the world. And I'm talking about Alex Walsh and Kate Douglas. And look at that front half. Oh, boy. 50.9. NCAA record alert. Opportunity for Douglas in lane four. This will be where Husk will fall back and Walsh will stake her, make, make her move a little bit on Douglas. How do you say that when Douglas is the record holder in the 200 breaststroke? I'm not sure. It is still Kate Douglas by about a half body length, flanked by both Walsh and Husk. Oh boy. Into the final 50. Can she break 150? That's what everybody's come to see tonight. Breaking a minute and 50 seconds. Yeah. Alex Walsh's time is 150.08. A body length ahead for Kate Douglas. Is there an NCAA record in her future? 45. One. Oh yes, she's going to do it. The touch. Wow. 48. 37. She blew past the 149s. An NCAA record obliterated by Kate Douglas. By 1.71 seconds. I don't know what to say. Are we reading the numbers <laughs> I, right? I, I keep looking back up at the clock. I'm saying, was there a malfunction or what? I and, and you know the crazy thing about it is Husk finished second, Walsh finished third. They both broke oh. the existing record. They both went under the existing record. But that woman right there, oh my goodness. 148, I'll say it again, 148.37. Ah, oh, 
That is a thing. She's 26 flat, buddy, on the way back. 31-3 on the brushstroke. Did she oh even God. think that time was possible? And you're right. Husk was 200s underneath the pre-NCAA record part of that race. Walsh edged it by 1-100th. But a smashing NCAA record for Kate Douglas, 148-37. And the new record holder is with Elizabeth. Kate Douglas on deck, a 148-37 smashing the American and the NCAA record by your teammate, Alex Walsh. What are your initial reactions to a swim that statement making? Yeah, I mean, going into this meet, I really wanted to get under 150, so to go 148 is really exciting. Yeah, you definitely went under 150. What is the X factor that you have that allows you to break that 150 mark and to be one of the most versatile swimmers in the country? Um, I think just kind of when I was making the decision to swim 2am versus 50 free, um, Todd just told me to choose one and then spend, you know, the next few weeks training and focusing on that. So yeah, I've just been focusing on this event for a few weeks now and yeah, I was really excited to swim it. Well, I think you made the right decision and it definitely paid off. Congratulations, Kate. Thank you.